Hi right, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing something just a little bit different. We're going to be making some homemade musky dime wine. Me and Shortbread went about two days ago, found a vine. And I mean it was low tid. So we gonna see if we can't make us a little sipping brew. Alright. There ain't many ingredients to this stuff. And the way I make it is old school. I'm talking about back yonder with the Indians and all that good stuff. So here's your ingredients. We got about two, two and a half gallon of musky dime. Got about four pounds of sugar. We've got some of this active dry yeast for making wine. Spring water, pillowcase, and some bungee cords, and just a little bit of hot water. So what we do is about two and a half, about two two and a half gallons of musky dimes. Whatever amount of musky dimes you got, you add that much water. So when we get all these mashed up, we're gonna add about two to two and a half gallon of water with that. And for every gallon of water you have in this bucket, you add one pound of sugar per gallon. So we're gonna end up being about four gallon in this bucket. So we're gonna use about four pound of sugar and one pack of yeast. So the instructions say is the first thing, you need to let the yeast soak in warm water for about 20 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead, open this thing up, pour it over in this hot water to get it start activating. Now what we're going to do, is we can sit here with our hands, or you can use your feet, but I ain't using my feet, and we're going to mash these musky dimes up, and just, I'm talking about, just get all the pulp and just mash them till they're just about gone. So, let's get started with that, and then we'll go on to the next process. And of course, while you're doing this, you're going to make a mess. Alright, we have finally got all them things mashed up. I mean, I ended up having to beat them things down there. But you can see right there, I got mashed up pretty dang good. Alright, so what we're going to do now, dang bucket come apart. Walmart special. Anyway, what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and put our water in there. One gallon. That should never work. Two gallon. I'm gonna put just a little bit more. I think I had a little over two gallon of berries in it. Alright, that's going to be about four gallon right there. Y'all don't see this mess. Alright, 
got about four gallons. All right, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna get our sugar here. I use this pure cane sugar. To me, I like it better, so. Got a better taste, all that good stuff. And about the same price as all the other ones, so. Now we're going to add four gallons of sugar. And y'all remember the yeast? We're going to put the yeast in there. Now, I'm going to stir it up. Alright, now what we're going to do is we're going to use them pillowcases. Now, a lot of people, they put it in a jug, bubbler, all that good stuff. And remember I said, I did it old school. What we're gonna do? We're gonna take this pillowcase, and we're just going to droop it over the bucket like that. And now we're gonna take these uh bungee cords oh my word I got one out there's two you gonna double it up we're gonna come around the top like so we're gonna pull her top What that's going to do is going to uh, let it breathe, let it work, and it's going to keep all the bugs out of it. So I'm finna carry it in the house, and I'm going to let it set. This process, I'm going to let it set for 14 days. And in 14 days, we're going to come back, and we're going to strain it with more sugar, more yeast and we're gonna let it work again for 14 days so y'all come on and stay tuned and i'll see you in 14 days wow all right welcome back y'all it has been 14 days and we're fishing to do the second phase of this wine making so let's get the top off Ooh-wee! Don't she look good? Alright, now what we gotta do, besides run the dog off, um, we're gonna skim the top a little bit, get some less junk off, and then we're gonna strain it over here in the other bucket. I got most of it strained off right here. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna rip up a pillowcase, and make it something to strain it by. So we're gonna put it over a bucket and get our bungee cords and then drop everything All around.
make it a little trough like that right there. Now, we're going to pour it over and get the rest of this pulp out of it. Alright, now that we got it all strained out, if you look, pretty much just pure juice. It's got a little pup left in it, but it all settled down to the bottom. So now what we're going to do is, uh, you can see, I got almost four gallons of liquid. And we're going to add another four pound of sugar. A pound of sugar for every gallon. other package of yeast it's been setting for about 20 minutes or so and warm water to activate it pour it in here get all the most little left out of the cup now what we'll do we'll stir it up And we'll take our pillowcase, put it over top of it, bungee cords, put her tight. Now we we'll let it set for another 14 days, and uh, then we hit the final product. So y'all stay tuned. I'll see you back in 14 days. All right, y'all. Days to day. We all been waiting for. It's been 28 days, and uh, as you can see, we fit to pour up this wine and uh, see how she turned out. Hi, right, if y'all look here, what we've done here, we got our mason jars right here. And uh, what we're gonna do, or what I done, I washed them. And how I did it is uh, I took some coffee filters, put a rubber band around it. That way if when we siphon in here, and by the way, the secret to wine is siphon, never pour. So we're going to run a hose over here in this bucket and we're going to siphon it out and then we're going to filter it through these coffee filters and fill these jars up. So let's get to it. Alright. Alright. When y'all put y'all's hose in the bucket, you want to keep it above the settlement in the bottom. That way it won't be sucking up all that junk. And uh. You can clamp it right here with a clamp to the side, or you can get somebody to hold it, just whatever y'all want to do. But just make sure you keep the hose above the settlement. That way you won't be drawing all this stuff in your bag. Huh? Let's get her primed. <laughs> Got all in my face. Right, here we go. You should use your finger to kind of control it. Just like that right there. And fill each one of the jars up. Well, as y'all can see, We've got her poured up, and she is pretty. I think I got about three gallon, and it started out with five, and time you work it, and pup, and all this rick and roar, and all this good stuff. We had about three gallon, 12 quart jars of wine. 
so let's see get out here in the sun let y'all see if y'all see the color of this bad boy she's pretty taste uh it's got a sweet and a tangy taste so i hope y'all uh enjoyed this old timey recipe of this homemade wine until next time, hope y'all like, subscribe, all that good Rick Monroe, and I'll let y'all get on about y'all's right killing. And until next time, this is Rooster World, and I'm out.